View behind me, Long Beach, you see the Queen Mary, the newly redone, had facelift here recently. We've got the uh, one of the Carnival sh uh, Cruises, I'm sure. And a lot of those ships in port this morning. We've got a lot of clouds as well, all associated with uh, a trough of low pressure. We've had this dip in the jet stream, and we've had some storms that have rolled through here this past weekend with some impressive numbers for rainfall totals. So we've had these weak storms gentle rain mostly. So we like these kinds of storms posing no real big problems. We're looking at some isolated showers still. You can see the radar still picking up that moisture and certainly the clouds and more moisture upstream. So up to our north watching another colder system that's going to move south and that's going to impact us with more chances for rain tonight through tomorrow. So we are, of course, excited about that in the weather department. 30 degrees in Minneapolis if you are traveling to the upper Midwest. 43 in Chicago for that high today. 47 in New York City. We've got a cluster of some showers and uh, weather across parts of the southeast. Otherwise, 80 degrees in Miami today. 78 in Dallas. Chilly up into Seattle. 37 degrees. Just 57 expected in San Francisco. You can see the spotty moisture here getting picked up by our computer model. This is one of the models we like to use to show you what we can expect over the next several days. And you can see the clouds, a little bit of that moisture down here across SoCal. As we put this into motion, you can see how we watch more rain moving in. It looks like tonight into tomorrow. And then uh, maybe even extending as late as Wednesday morning. And then we get a little bit of a break. I think Thursday perhaps even Friday, but then another system moves in. As we look ahead to this coming weekend, we may see another opportunity for some light showers with, again, unsettled weather through Saturday. So, yeah, this is good. We're off to a really good start for the month of December. Not a whole lot of accumulation, but we'll take these little increments because, uh, of course, when we get those heavier downpours and those stronger rainfall rates, that can trigger those mud and debris flows. So, as of this point, no weather alerts in place. We just have uh, perhaps 14 one hundredth of an inch of rain expected in terms of rain as we look ahead to tonight and tomorrow. So, we get to add that to the bucket, which so far this month, 14 one hundredth is the total. Uh, still far from the average for the month, but we're working our way towards that. We still have a surplus over a half an inch above seasonal average at this point. And as I mentioned, we'll hopefully get to add to the bucket as we look for those rain chances to continue tonight through tomorrow. And then you get another shot for rain. It looks like Friday night into Saturday. The winds are breezy over the mountains, the deserts, but no weather or wind alerts in place. The onshore flows with us, so that's bringing in that cooler air mass. So grab that sweatshirt for sure. You'll need it. It's going to stay chilly or at least below seasonal average. If you're headed to the coast, two to four foot sets, those temperatures on the sand, 58 to 62, some breezy conditions along our coast. Uh, again, 62 uh, to 63 degrees for downtown LA. Valleys, very similar conditions. That chance for showers tonight through tomorrow. Then a little bit of a dry slot Wednesday, Thursday before that other opportunity moves in for the weekend. We kind of left the raindrops out of the forecast, but I do want to mention it. There's that slight chance there for the extended outlook as we look ahead to Saturday of this weekend coming up. 43 up into the mountains. Because of that colder air moving in, that snow level is expected to drop to about 5,000 feet. So we are expecting a couple inches or so over our local resorts, which is great news. It'll get down to about 38 tomorrow for the Big Bay area. 56 in the high desert today. 69 in Palm Springs. And again, a chance for even some thunderstorms because of that colder air moving in. All right, let's do some TV shout outs before you walk out that door. Handsome guy here. I like this school pick. Happy 15th birthday to you, Alejandro De Los Santos. Uh, your mom, your papi, Ariana and Andrew, love you so much. Your family is very proud of you. And a happy fourth anniversary to this handsome couple, Sarah and Danny of Huntington Beach, California. Thank you so much for being such loyal viewers and watching us even here on KCOP on Channel 13. Keep those picks coming. You can email them to us, TV shoutouts at fox.com. Don't forget to attach the photo and give us some info, the names and things like that. And we can mention that here on the show. Email tvshoutouts at fox.com.